So I see you clicked on this video kasi gusto mo malaman kung paano ba mag-survive sa first year mo sa computer science. Alright! Hello everybody! I'm back! You're back! We're back! Now baka tanungin mo, sino ka ba? Sige, so bago tayo mag-start, pakilala siguro muna ako, no? Kasi hindi mo alam, nursing student pala ako, accounting student. Nagbibigay ako ng tips for computer science. Hindi mo alam. Hindi mo alam. Don't you worry! Hi ga- Oh my gosh! Oh, sapa, take two. Hi guys, I'm Sam. I'm a first year computer science student from De La Salle University. And I am here to give you some tips kung paano ba mag-survive sa first year nyo ng computer science. Now, you might be asking, eh, Sam, di ka pa naman second year, ba't mo kami binibigyan ng tips and tricks for computer science kung paano mag-survive? Eh, ikaw nga, di ka pa nagsusurvive ng computer science. Di ko naman tinatanong yun, ah. Now, disclaimer lang, aside from hindi pa ako second year, hindi din ako yung best student. Hindi ako professional student. I have my own fair share of mistakes and struggles here and there. Now, hindi ko alam kung incoming computer science student ka palang dyan or currently in your first year of computer science. But I'm sure that these tips will help nonetheless. Ayos ba yun? Sige. Huwag na natin patagalin pa. Let's go on on the first tip. First tip, learn how to study. Sam, ang boring naman ng tip mo. Learn how to study. Invento. Itong college program natin, computer science, IT, computer engineering, or kung ano man dyan, here's the problem, okay? You cannot memorize your way through all of this. To be honest, ang konti lang na memorization natin. Pero, what is required of us is a lot of logic, a lot of mathematics. Yes, you heard that right. If itinatanong nyo, sa madami bang mathematics sa computer science? Yes, napakadaming mathematics sa computer science. Nabasa ko nga dati, computer science is a math major in disguise. Kasi in the grand scheme of things, computer nga tawag sa kanya eh, di ba? Compute, taga-compute! Sabihin mo, hindi kailangan ng mathematics. Hello? Yun yung sinabi ko dati. Oh boy, was I wrong. And with that, know what works and what doesn't work. And let me tell you this, memorizing purely will not help that much. Madaming math, madaming formulas, madaming theorems. I suggest to test all these things out. See how they work visually, analyze kung bakit ganon, and discover for yourself kung paano nila kinam up yung theorem or formula na yun. And if senior high school ka pa lang or high school, galing mo, nag-search ka na agad. Brush up on your pre-calculus, calculus, algebra, geometry, trigo, all these things. And I promise you, makaka-survive ka dito. Next is, practice the fundamentals. Yes! Finally! Programming tips! Woo! Computer science! Ano yung mga fundamentals na yan? I'm saying mga data structures, pointers, arrays, yung mga data types, mga for loop, while loop, do while loop, mga if-else, mga conditions na yan. Practice all these things. And if hindi mo pa alam yung mga sinasabi ko sooner or later, you'll figure it out and sana matandaan mo yung mga sinasabi ko ngayon. So guys, I'm telling you this, if you just come in to comp sign na wala kang previous knowledge or even if my previous knowledge ka na at first it's gonna be super super confusing and it was for all of us except siguro yung mga prodigy I'm gonna leave an online course sa description below na itong video na to if hindi ka pa college student and gusto mo na matuto nung mga fundamentals na yan so it's a course from Harvard yes Harvard like the Harvard it's called CS50 and it's basics of programming and I'm telling you right now it's super duper hard Napakahirap niya. No joke, sumuka ako. Week 7, sumuka ako dito sa course na to. Hindi ko siya natapos, but it made my stay during our first term in college so much more easier kasi familiar na ako dito sa mga things na to. Third, baka pumapasok kayo sa computer science and then ma-figure out nyo na hindi nyo pala gusto yung programming and stuff. And even if pumasok kayong computer science na may interest na talaga yung sa programming, I'm telling you this, given the workload that we have, madami tayong homeworks which will take not only only a day or a few hours to do but even weeks or months and with that it is possible na mapagod ka mag-program but hold on try to stick with it try to love yung process of learning experiencing yung mga bugs na yan it's all part of learning just stick with it and push through fourth do projects personal projects sa ang dami ng projects binibigay ng school namin do 
projects. Kasi in this way, you're gonna learn so much more and build so much more. I've done a few programming projects here and there. I've learned so much doing these na hindi ko nakuha from what we're currently studying right now. Now, in regards to do projects, go beyond what you learn in class. Kasi once we graduate, and yung program kasi natin, it's ever-evolving. So, siguro yung mga things that we learn right now isn't actually the things that we will eventually be learning in the future. And yes, kaya maganda ang computer science course is teaching us the fundamentals so that we can apply it dun sa mga future things that we are learning. Make sure to ignite yung curiosity nyo na if may gusto kang malaman paano gawin, don't be afraid to actually do it and try it. Now, if you may say na hindi ko kaya gawin to kasi kasi masyado siyang advanced, do it, okay? It might take a lot of time, pero during those time, madami kang matututunan. Fifth, don't be afraid to ask questions. Kasi it's really confusing, all these things. And sometimes, hindi, na, hindi siya intuitive masyado eh. And we need to really do our part in knowing yung mga things na hindi natin alam. And to solve those by asking questions. It may be sa mga professors nyo, ideally, or even sa classmates, or Google. Sana by this time, magaling na kayo mag-Google. Kasi I'm telling you, being good at Google is a really good skill for us. Know the resources that are available to you. Ang dami nyo yan. Stack Overflow, Hacker Rank, Practice Your Programming, di ba? YouTube, ang daming mga magagaling na tutorials yan sa YouTube. Next tip is do not cram. Itong mga homeworks natin, mga projects natin, some take multiple weeks to do. And I've heard so many horror stories na krinam nila yung project nila, nag-procrastinate sila, and hindi nila natapos. It happens. I'm telling you, it happens. And yung hindi maganda dito is minsan, yung mga vacation time natin, kasi first project ata namin nun is binigay siya ng November, late November, and pasahan niya is January. So we had a whole month, we had two months to do this project. Ginawa ko siya agad, medyo nakain niya yung portion ng Christmas break ko. Pero for me, I think that's still okay, kasi some did it nung January na and they really had a hard time. Although it's possible, a lot of them did really well kahit January na nila ginawa. Pero ideally, just to keep you guys healthy, hindi kayo magpuyat masyado and hindi kayo masyado ma-stress, ma-overwhelm, just do it as early as you can. May possibility talaga na hindi mo siya matatapos. And next is, use a paper. Masabihin nyo, Sam, nagpo-program kami, nagko-code kami, anong use a paper? What's hard in programming is yung logic. We can do all these things of typing, typing. Yes, that looks really cool. Pero hindi ka mag-e-excel kung mabilis ka lang mag-type. And no, I don't mean write the entire code on paper. Pero ang bottleneck natin dito is hindi kung gaano tayo kabilis mag-type. Pero kung gaano tayo kabilis, isipin kung ano yung type natin. Yung forming the logic itself ng program is what takes so much time. Kasi throughout your stay in computer science, you will learn how to think like a computer. By using a paper, may kita natin visually kung ano yung mga things yung mga ginagawa natin tama, ano yung mga things na ginagawa natin mali, and what things will not work during this bago tayo magsulat ng code. Kasi medyo time-consuming din magsulat ng code. So better if sure kayo nagagana na yung program bago nyo siya i-start, isulat. Okay, so that pretty much ends our tips and tricks kung paano ba mag-survive as a computer science student. And if you guys are watching and my tips din kayo to share to the other people out there who are watching right now, please leave them down below para mabasa natin lahat. And if you guys enjoyed this video, which I wish you guys did from the bottom of my heart, don't forget to subscribe. That would be really nice. Thank you guys. And share this video to your friends para lahat kayo mag-survive. I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye!